Hey everyone, welcome back to another tech tip and in today's video I'm going to show you how to modify the sleep settings of your monitor. Let's go. Hey guys, now that we're over here at the computer, we're going to go through this pretty quickly. This is on a Windows 10 desktop machine, so your variations or your operating system may slightly differ, but it overall works the same way. So what we're going to do is we're either going to go down to the start menu, or you can go down to your Cortana search bar and just type in the word power, and then you're going to left click on power and sleep settings. This is going to bring up various options except for this machine. It's very simple when I want the screen to turn on and off. So if you click on the drop down, you can choose one minute all the way down to never. Be very careful if you do decide to choose never because certain screens like older CRT screens or some plasmas, they will get screen burn if you never, if you use the never option and it leaves the same thing on the screen for a certain amount of time. So be very careful with that. 10 minutes to five minutes is usually sufficient for the monitor to shut down after inactivity. And then of course you can wake it back up with just a wiggle of the mouse or press on the key on the keyboard and it will come back to a usable state. Again, this is on a desktop, so I just have the one option. If you are on a laptop, you may have different options depending on if you're plugged in with the AC adapter versus on if you're just running strictly off of battery. So you can adjust those individually as well, which is really nice. So again, you can go in here, just choose the option that you want. Just choose it once you've chosen it, it is already set. There's no other save button or anything like that. And that's just a quick how to on how to adjust your sleep settings for your monitor. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that tech tip. If you liked the video or found it informative, leave a like, leave a share, leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. And of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe and we will see you on the next one.